hey so let's just <laughs> in the last few weeks of january i have felt like utter crap i have known for the majority of this year and a lot of 2016 that i'm lonely but i've only just realized now that i am abjectly lonely the only way i could be lonelier is if i was in literal solitary confinement and my flat already feels like solitary confinement so i've always been the kid who walked around the playground by themselves at lunchtime and break time and when i was in primary school i was severely autistic so everyone around me was sort of scary and i didn't understand them at all so walking around by myself i would just be able to watch them maybe dip into interaction then walk away if i was getting intimidated or bored or just confused and that worked for me. I didn't really care. I didn't feel lonely. I was just interacting with an alien species in my own head. Then when I got to secondary school, through in my first secondary school, I tried to interact with people a bit more. I tried to understand them a bit more. I tried to do the same, emulate their behaviour and try and be a part of it all. That just got me 42 bones broken and a lot of name calling. So then I moved to a different high school and very took a more observational route. I just stuck by the sidelines every single break and lunchtime and just watched people, watched them become friends and see, try to figure out how it all worked. Which, again, I started to feel a bit lonely, but not really, because there were also some sideliners that I could talk to occasionally and that sort of thing. Then in sixth form slash college, if that's how you know it, I accepted my loneliness like i started to feel it and just thought what my life's always been i guess i'm a lone wolf and during that time period like when i became 18 17 i got really angry it was like everything that i had ever repressed or not felt just sort of came in on me and i spent a lot of time listening to hank green and perfect strangers and going out into fields and screaming and that is apparently what I was happy with. I was happy just being a lone wolf wearing a denim jacket, occasionally a leather jacket. And yeah, then when I first got to university, I was still in that phase. And I tried to go into Camden and be that sort of person and just be lonely and cool. But then when I came out as trans and I actually started to become in tune with my feelings and I wasn't just repressing who I was anymore and all that stuff, the loneliness started to be felt. In August of 2016, I went on holiday with the high school friends that I kind of had, and it I, it just made me feel lonelier. And just since then, I have just grown lonelier and lonelier, and I don't really know what to do. I don't really know how to make friends. I never learned those basic social skills that you learn in primary school, because I was just by myself all the time. So I need friends. The way I understand it, there are strangers. People who you don't know, they don't know you, all you know about each other is the direction you're walking and the clothes you're wearing. Then there are acquaintances, people who you might see daily, you might see regularly, just, just around, and you know their name, their favourite colour, that sort of stuff, but nothing much more. Then you have co-workers, who in my case are classmates, and I talk to them and do the sort of schoolwork in class with them and I'll overhear their conversations because some of them are friends and get to know them that sort of way but outside of class like at lunchtime and out of uni hours I don't interact with them at all and they don't interact with me it's just sort of stalemate then you have mates which I do have a fair few of and I know a bit about them and they know a fair amount about me and we sort of text every so often, maybe hang out once a month, if that. And that's the level of that relationship. But then there's friends, that mythical beast that I don't understand. Somehow people have friends and they hang out at least once a week. They text daily and incessantly. They know everything about each other. But yet when they met those people, they were just acquaintances and strangers, and I don't understand how they got to such a level. If you have any idea how people form friendships, like if you can put it into a flowchart or a list, like a cause and effect list, 
I would love to read it, but for now, I'm just going to have to stay the observer and try and figure it out. Because I have no idea how this crap works. <laughs>